San Quentin News is the leading source of information on rehabilitation, public safety, and social justice. Real voices from the inside. Welcome back inside San Quentin State Prison. My name is Steve Brooks. You're watching Criminal Justice News. San Quentin State Prison has a new earned living unit. Donner Housing Unit has become an earned living unit for incarcerated people who are being pr productive in rehabilitation programs and who are staying disciplinary free. The idea is to allow them to have an opportunity to be single cell and to live in an environment that is much cleaner and conducive to positive productivity. Donner Housing Unit is a unit where incarcerated people are allowed to have more autonomy over the way their cells look and also has a new dog program. As San Quentin turns into a rehabilitation center, more housing units will become like the Donner Housing Unit and eventually maybe even the whole prison. Two clocks, three telephones, and a light green death chamber will soon be no more as California moves ahead to dismantle its death row. As Governor Gavin Newsom has announced, San Quentin will become a rehabilitation center. And with that said, death row is now dwindling. Less than 500 people remain on California's death row here in San Quentin. And the rest will probably be moved before the end of the year. The idea is to move the death row population into the general population across the state. There are some people who are excited about it, and there's also people who are upset. There's litigation and other things going on surrounding these events, but the hope is that the death row population can safely merge with the general population and take advantage of more rehabilitation programs and more family contact. Over the next year, they will be dispersed into the rest of California prisons as San Quentin transforms into a rehabilitation center and becomes more of a homecoming project for those who are available for release. In profile news, Felipe Kelly earned his parole after serving 23 years in prison. Kelly, known to many as Kells, told San Quentin News that he never believed that he would see the streets again. However, after hearing a victim speak at a victim's impact group, he realized that must have been the feeling his victim's family felt, so he set out to change. Kells began taking self-help groups and became a peer mentor in order to better help himself and to help others. 39-year-old Kells paroled in February and left these parting words. Um, so I wouldn't say that it's, I'm leaving brothers behind, it's just more like see you later, mm -hmm. right? And my message would be, if you want to get out of here, you have to put the work in. Sure. I went to the board three times and got knocked down twice. And I could have folded. I could have gave up. I could have said, man, I'm cool. This is too much. This is too hard. But I kept pushing. And with every time, I got better. And I got better. And the third time, they felt it. In the month of May, we celebrate World Press Freedom Day. San Quentin News would like to take this time to pay homage to trailblazers in prison journalism such as William Catellus, Tom Runyon, Lloyd Eady, and Wilbert Rideau, who sparked the flame for criminal justice reform by telling our stories from behind the walls. The history of prison publications illustrates the power of the press to be a vehicle for freedom and change. It is because of people like them along with a host of other dedicated men and women throughout the years that our mission is and will continue to be the leading source of information on rehabilitation, public safety, and social justice. We are the real voices from the inside. We celebrate World Press Freedom Day.
Welcome to CJN Sports. I'm your sports editor, Tim Hicks. The Thousand Mile Running Club has just ramped up its new season and just recently ran the half marathon in correlation with the San Francisco Marathon that just happened this weekend. I got a chance to talk to some of the members of the Thousand Mile Club to get their take on the program and what it takes to ramp up their efforts to get to the whole marathon that will take place at the end of this season. Let's go outside and, and have a chat with some of the guys. Come on. Uh, the, you know, what are you getting out of this run? Uh, generally, my, for my general health, and uh, uh, I like expanding the energy, keeps me calm, and uh, it's good for you. I'm 63, man, so I, you know, I can't stay sedentary. What do, what do you get out of it? Hey, man, just keep you in shape, keep you focused, you know what I'm saying? And I love running, man. I've been, run, been running for quite some time now. I joined the 1,000 uh, Mile Club uh, for uh, uh, health reasons because before I joined, I was uh, suffering from, uh, uh, you know, depression and anxiety and uh, uh, also, I was uh, I was overweight. I wasn't eating properly. So uh, once I joined the Thousand uh, Mile Club, uh, I started uh, dropping the weight off, and I started uh, uh, learning to eat more properly. You know? What about you? How, what do you get out of this by coming in here and uh, being a, a part of this uh, program amongst the San Quentin residents? Well, you know, I'm a member of the running community on the outside, and I just, uh, I love the running community. I love running myself, and it's great to be able to help create a running community and be part of the running community here at San Quentin and support what the men are doing. And I just love the energy that I get from just running with them on Mondays and then helping support the Friday races. So, yeah, I'm, I just get a lot of, out of it, just witnessing it. What does running do for you? For me personally, um, it's not actually a physical thing. It helped with me losing the weight, but really, it's a mental thing. It's my, it's me, it's me driving on the freeway where I'm not here no longer in prison. It helps me just kind of decompress my emotions and and my stress. This is Tim Hicks, sports editor of San Quentin News. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Carlos Duroyet, and I'm a staff writer for San Quentin News. Thank you for watching Criminal Justice News.